Hello everyone, I was working through the APL practice problems at triapl.org and I came across this really fun problem so I thought I'd walk through it. Uh, using some number of dice with some number of sides each, you generate an ASCII histogram plot for all the possible totals that can be found by rolling those dice together. So in this browser window, I have the website for BQN which has an embedded BQN interpreter. The interpreter here is much slower than the C implementation that I normally use, but it's much easier to get started with in case any of you viewers want to quickly get started. Uh, get started writing some BQN. So this is just the first way that I solved the problem. I'm sure many of you will be able to solve this in fewer characters. I'll just call my function f and we will just return our input really quickly. I'm going to increase the size here. The first thing I do here is join my input with the empty list in case I'm past a scalar. This won't do anything different for an array input so we won't see a difference here but if we go then we'll see it creates an array out of it. Then for each value, I find all the possible values you can roll with that die. Which here is 1 through 6 and 1 through 6. I then create a sum table for all those values. The table modifier is pretty much just a Cartesian product. I apply the operation specified here, the plus operator in between all the elements on the left and right arguments. If we have two die, this table will be a two-dimensional matrix. With three die, like this, we'll have a three-dimensional matrix. I then deshape the potentially higher ranked matrix to get a flat list of values. And I sort those values, and then I group them. And then I get the length of each sublist, which tells me how many possible ways I can roll the value with that index. And I save this to the variable v, so I can refer to this later. If I join the grouped list with the iota of the length of that list, you'll see what I mean. So these are the lists with their indices. With these dice, there are zero possible ways to roll the value 0, 1, or 2 and there's only one possible way to roll the value 3, etc, etc. If I flip the order that I use here, then here in this top row we have the number of stars for the given row in our final ASCII chart, so I'll use the replicate function to generate that many ASCII stars. Now we'll transpose the chart to get it oriented correctly, and we'll save this value to the variable f so that we can refer to it later. At this point we're pretty much at our solution, we just have to filter out the zero values here. I'll first find the indices for which the value can never be rolled. I'll then sum them up to see how many of those rows that we should drop, and then I'll drop that many rows from our solution. And there we have it, the final solution. Let's try with maybe a couple more dice here. And there we have it. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time.